Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, it is the year 1127. Emperor Beachy sits upon the throne of Benevento, his children eagerly waiting to take up the reins. Uh, Emperor Beachy here, 59 years of age, so he's getting on a bit. He has uh, three children, no, two children. Uh, the first, Failberry here. Failberry the giant and heir to the main throne. At uh, 29 years of age, he is married, he is an orthodox. I was going to say that the realm will be in good hands, but the realm will be in absolutely terrible hands. Uh, Failberry here, an orthodox Christian instead of a mighty Catholic. Uh, your wife has done something foul to you. Disgusting. Uh, so we have an upcoming problem with Failberry about to take control. How are we going to fix this? Do you want to come to my court? You do not. You do not because you are married to her. Uh, 25% chance. <laughs> this is going to be absolutely horrendous. Uh... Well, let's start the game anyway. We're in a war with Aquitaine, so let's sort out the easy stuff first. The army here building up in strength after a couple of rebellions. So we shall send them across. Does anyone want to join this murder scheme? Yes, Failberry. That's the way uh, you know you've done wrong and messed up. Oh, Milo has died. We've got a new patriarch. Why are you a patriarch? Should it be like an archbishop or something? I don't know. Anyway. Oh no! The art murder scheme has gone wrong already. Ah, oh, absolutely used. 5% chance of success. Let's hang on and see how it goes. Let's see if we can sway anyone in the court over there. Uh, and our steward has died. It's all gone wrong. Count Redwald, get yourself a job, mate. Uh, refuses. 16. Let's try and sway this bloke. I do not believe this. What a terrible turn of events. Uh, I was quite confident sitting down when we started. The realm was going to pass to uh, Failberry and he was going to rule as a mighty emperor. Instead, we've got... Uh... Hang on. No, you do have another brother, don't you? But we have a beachy as well. Are we just out of room for sons? We got prawn. Plus one. I think there's another one. Yeah, we got Prince Beachy here as well. So if we look at the succession, currently we're going to lose. It was not what Theodosia was hoping to find by spying on secret conversations. Uh, perhaps that can help my efforts. Uh, that's fine. Are we going to have to destroy these king titles? I don't want powerful kings uh, with an entire kingdom like Burgundy here if Failberry the heretic is going to get to the throne. Uh, let's actually split this army in half. Once we get into Montpellier there, and let's have half of you come to Bezier. And the other half march north to war. So if we destroy the kingly titles, then everyone's going to split up all the dukedoms, which is going to be terrible. And just as bad. Um, let's destroy at least Burgundy, because... Uh, the Kingdom of Sardinia is small. But 
but the Kingdom of Burgundy is huge. So let's destroy this great kingly title. Uh, so now Prince Beachy is going to take Capua and Naples. I don't want to lose Capua on Naples. We've spent time building them up. Uh, uh, donate to charity. Uh, let's move up towards the capital. Call to war. You're this stupid woman who's way over in the middle of nowhere, aren't you? You're over here somewhere. Yeah. No, go away. Want nothing to do with her wars. This is horrendous. How am I going to fix up Failberry here? I know there is only one true god, and both sides believe in him, just they believe in him in different ways, I believe, is the plot. I don't know, religion's too hard for me to wrap my head around. Your dishonor comes at a cost. What? What cost? What does... Oh, we lost a level of fame. Is that all you're worried about? That's fine. Beachy don't care. He's the grandest emperor in the land. A little bit of dishonor never hurt anyone. Oh, I could demand all sorts of payments. $15. No, I don't even bother. No, if you're not going to pay the full amount, don't bother. Look at this bloke. A, sh a shameful truth had reached the light of day. Uh, Cream Hilda has uh, a lover in Regdus. Bitch him. Oh, he got out of the debt by <laughs> using a hook. Well done to this guy. I love it. Uh, Duchess Isabel is dead. Not one day too soon. My steward, Count Redolf, has come up with the bold idea of assessing all the property in my realm in a single giant survey. By compiling the knowledge, I would get a better oversight of administration. Sure. I will know every acre, surf, and head of livestock. Do it. Get in there. A great survey. My marshal, Duchess of Vatimurka, is concerned that my assessors will be prime targets for bandits. Gain prestige, or organize a militia, or send a knight. It's in tonight. Some big armies marching about here. Uh, Mayor Adel Jesus tells me my travelling merchants have been complaining about my assessors. Nope, everyone. Everyone will be surveyed. There we go, our glory back up. Fantastic thrash down the next army. That's it, get in there and murder him. Uh, my siege of Vizier is not completed yet. While travelling through the county of Denia, a group of bandits attacked my assessors. Let this be a lesson. That's it, murder them. Get out of here, you filthy bandits. And another one down. Uh, Beachy with a loss of rivals. Luckily, they're all dying, which is fantastic news. He's been swayed. Would you like to join my murder plot, mate? No. Right. 
Right, Mayor Arrakis tells me our travelling merchants have been complaining. Uh, everyone again. We've had that event. Right, the siege here at uh, Busier going well. Greetings, my liege. I have been faithfully paying my taxes to the crown. The survey will increase in quality. Duke Pit Carrot uh, dislikes us more, which is fine. And let's get over to this town here. We'll see just one down. The allies out in force. I don't know why they aren't moving on the capital at all, just sort of standing about. Cowards. After many long months surveying the lands, it is done. My assessors have compiled an exceptionally precise record of my holdings. Uh, so gain stewardship, distribute the records, count Radwald gains prestige, control level change by 20 in the empire, or gain one stewardship perk, gain hoarding assessment. Uh, we'll give it for everyone. I have prowled through documents and see so you have a claim on a Rizzo. See it done. Uh, so we will have to push that, though. Uh... Alright, so chains of loyalty or uh, large levies. Let's go large levies. Once we wrap up this stupid war here, I might hold off on future wars until Beachy dies, Failberry takes over, and we find some way to convert him to Catholicism. Murder chance? 7%. Just horrific. Absolutely horrific. Alright, the army there. Finally moving up and finally doing battle with the enemy force. Fantastic. Beachy Jr. has come of age. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as a weird looking adult. They grow up so fast. Uh, Beachy, let's get, whoops, call to war. This is the same stupid woman. No. Absolutely not. Let's uh, marry this. Uh, we cannot have any more orthodox. Let's marry this uh, Bavarian Carlin girl. Well, the army up top has come under attack during the siege. Uh, the ally force not moving in to help us at all. The army's cut down. Thanks a lot, you jerk. Why don't you just move in there? Allied AI, so terrible. A province or two away, you could have come in to help, but no. Uh, murder on roots when the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape. Uh, let's try and... I was going to say explore it ourselves, but we're going to get... Uh, stressed. Let's do it. Oh, we mapped it. Well done. Well done, Beachy. Stepping it up when no one else will. I cannot believe no one would come and help us with this uh, siege here at the capital. What are you idiots doing? I really want to get this war wrapped up before... Yeah, Beachy dies. 61. I don't want to be involved in this war and have our armies far away from our territory because I think all hell is going to break loose.
I'm gonna try, try to get them to move into here, but uh, box select and click doesn't seem to be working much these days. Come on, get in there. Try and catch them down here at Carcassonne. Right, now let's join these troops up into one army and march north. Uh, I can take a ton of attrition. Can we get to here? We'll uh, siege on this barony here at Quercy. Uh, resupply, then push north. Tyranny uh, loss, that's fine. Uh, written in the stars, a countess to scare a local mystic with dubious morals. Uh, let's try and give her a bad omen. Yeah, it's bad omen. 17% chance of success. Surely with a bad omen someone wants to be joined, yes. Yeah mate. Get it on it. Ah, uh, well done. 85... Whoops, no, that's the sway. 35 we're up to. Scandalous priest. Condemn him. Boo, priest. Boo, I say. Alright, the siege here at Quercy. Is this army coming in to attack us? What are you doing? Try and catch him. Don't know what they're doing. There we go. Let's beat down this filthy army. These are the ones that came up and got us before. The chaps with the big smiling sun on it. The Sheikdom of Carcassonne. Let's just march with the capital, try and wrap up this war for them, seeing the AI is just doing nothing. Oh, Samantha's got small pot. Oh, she's absolutely disgusting as old Samantha. Um Where are you? You're not you're not at home, are you? No, she's in Missimbria. Fantastic. Go away. You can give them the pox, I want nothing to do with it. Call to war! Sure, mate. Champagne, I think, is the guy we're currently teamed up with at the moment, fighting rebels up there. Okay. That is totally fine. Let's march on the capital, siege it down, and then we'll go help him with his rebellion. Let's unpause the game. I really wish the uh, models and things would stop fighting when I've got to pause, just to let me know that, hey, the game's paused and you're looking like an idiot. Oh, what are you doing, Carcassonne? Don't you come near my realm. Uh, do you wish to join my court, sir? Good. And you're already a Catholic, so that's fine. What on earth are we going to do about Failberry? Or he's ruling in here somewhere. Uh, you're down there in that one territory of Lacona. Why would you have become a filthy orthodox chappy? We can kill your wife, we can bring you back to court, I think. So we are taking attrition here, sieging down this place, but no one else seems to be doing it. Absolutely horrendous AI. Time for some good old mob rule. 35%. One and three. She has survived. They confessed my involvement. Oh, idiots. Absolute idiots. Well, Samantha got over the smallpox. She's left with the regular pox. Gross, Samantha.
Right, another knight for the army. Sure. And we've still got this inheritance to take care of, because I don't want... If I get another duchy, will they take another duchy instead of Capua down here? Ah, not one day too soon, the dwarf is dead, fantastic. Actually, if we destroy the duchy titles here and create some smelly duchies I don't want, I think we can palm them off to Beachy. So let's have a look. Beachy, let's destroy. Uh, Capua is a duchy. And then let's create a smelly duchy for Beachy to have. Uh, he can be Duke of somewhere foreign and somewhere smelly. So, France. Duchy of Trends Gerania. So for our inheritance, we will then have mm, succession. Beachy is gonna get Trends Gerania. Fantastic. Prawn becomes King of Sardinia. And Failberry the Heretic becomes King of the Realm. Alright, so success there. Let's go beat up this army here. Right, Leon has been swayed. Oh, we don't even have the murder plot anymore. It's all gone. Uh, let's abandon the sway scheme. Get out of it. I don't care. Uh, let's siege down this territory here. I work out where the army of Carcassonne went that headed out to sea, but they haven't landed anywhere. And the army here still taking terrible attrition. Hello, Firmus. Uh, you want to join the team? Good. Good, good, good. Can we please finish this war, guys? And then we've got this one up here to go deal with, which shouldn't be too bad. I think most of his armies are down here. Who are you? Blue flag with yellow bits and a white stripe. Got 2,000 chappies there. We got 5,000 versus their 7. Not looking good. But to be honest, I am fine. If we don't win that war, I do not really care about him. I just want to get this one over my troops back home. Valencia has given rise to uh, Muwaladi populists. Right, just horrendous attrition. Oh. 
Uh, we inherited the barony of Gubbio. Um, did we? Culture discovered scootage. What I want is windmills here. We had some fancy buildings we could build with windmills. Ah, uh, Bundia. Welcome aboard. And convert heathen. Uh, let's come up on this army here. There's 570 of them. Will that be enough to push us over the edge to victory in this stupid war? Alright, 98% to come on. No, you ridiculous woman, I'm not joining any of your wars. Way across the map, wanting to do just stupid, stupid things. It's the worst alliance I've ever seen. Mahmoud has died in the dungeons, fantastic. And surely victory is upon us. Go and make in the war so we can get to our marching up to this battle here. Start heading across Frankia here, just in the war, so be it. Come on, Champagne, get moving. Get moving. Get moving. All right, a new stewardship perk. Tow the line, your vessels are less likely to join independence factions. Yes, please. A missing village, lit only by a single candle, my finger pauses on an entry in the ledger. Something is not right. The tax collector should investigate. Go yourself, Beachy. Tour the lands. Alright, see if we can thrash down this rebel force. Yes, yeah, that Benevento army. Much, much better. Although, yeah, Count Sigbald. The weak killed in the battle, that's fine. After days of travel, I find that the village is not missing, it's thriving. Edelold. What say you about this? Uh, those funds were vital to the uh, defense of Benevento. Uh, imprisoned. A weak hook. Uh, how about counting the worms? Alright, uh, let's stand down the army. Now, we got 8,000 in cash. What's this option that's popped up? Found a metropolis. Yes, please. A new age of greatness is upon us. I have met with a steady stream of builders and architects and the plans for a magnificent city are taking form. The build master informs me that the first bricks of the metropolis are ready to be laid. Benevento becomes a city. Wonderful. And we can found a university as well. Do it, lay the foundations. Bichi, the great builder. Uh, the taxes levied on my peasants can be hard. However, as recent events have shown me, life is hard. I've learned much. Gain one stewardship. 
uh, chains of loyalty. Uh, let's pause this here. A ransom. You want to pay three hundred dollars? Yes. You want to pay me three? Yes. Uh, you can go away, and you can go away. Uh, so we got some upgrades there in Benevento with the city. Fantastic. Uh, let's unpause the game. And you want to pay me three hundred? Sure, mate. Let's. Uh, have a look at Benevento. So it's upgraded to a city straight away. It didn't take a build time by the look of this. Is that what I'm seeing? Is this being built or not? I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Alright, so we can't do anything there in Benevento. Let's check out the city of Naples. Uh, we have Castel Nuovo. Uh, let's upgrade that. Nice Capua. Uh, let's upgrade the barracks. Our other holdings, of course, we got uh, Tunis and Florence and Ancona. So in Tunis here, just, just a ton of things we could build. Uh, let's build some farms and fields. And to Florence. Oops, where's Florence? It's up here. Uh, so that building is currently disabled. Uh, we can't build Il Duomo because we don't have the windmills. Okay, so let's upgrade the Mason's Guild. No, we have to upgrade the city. Upgrade. There we go. Fantastic. We got 4,000 gold on hand. And income of 107. We should bulk up the retinue force. Uh, so we'll bulk up the size of these chaps here. Uh, we could remove the mangonels, get some trebuchets. Oh yeah, create it. Uh, so we got six of seven. We got bowmen, uh, heavy armored footmen, some pikemen. We got the armored horsemen. We got a light cavalry division. Oh, let's get a unit of Landschnecks as well. Hire in some Germans. Uh, so let's boost these guys up to say five. Actually, let's just max everything up to ten. I've got a feeling Failberry is going to destroy the realm. Uh, okay. Whoops. Can some of these only go to certain sizes, can they? We're not out of gold. Mm. Ah, so it's not a poor unit stack, it's the total of this, is it? No. You can go to size 10. 10 or 11. 6 of 11, why can I not increase to 7? Why not? Come on. Why can't I see why I can't increase this? I don't know. Do not know. Let's chill out. Let's let uh, things build up for a bit and we'll have a look again. Alright, so let some time tick by. Cannot increase. 6 of 11. 
Is there a maximum soldier size? I don't know. Can our retinue force not exceed our total soldier size? I, I just I don't know what the rules are for this. And there it is. The death Emperor Beachy of Benevento rests in the arms of the Lord at age 65. A conscientious man, he was renowned for his excellent skills as a steward and ruler. Aylberry ascends to the throne, a formidable duelist. Many expect him to excel in tournaments and personal combat alike. At the age of 35, we continue as Emperor Failberry. Now. Uh, is there a way to change? I don't want to create a new Christian faith. I just want to convert to the proper one. I know if we marry a Catholic woman, we can adopt their religion. Could I? Murder my wife. Who wants to join us in a murder scheme? Uh, the Bishop of Lancona. Right. Out this bloke. Bribe. That's it. Okay. Uh, so Prawn became king of Sardinia here. I think she's got himself a little province up here. Not particularly a powerful land, though uh, anyone could still rise up against us. We need more martial prowess. Um... Let's go with chivalry focus. We have empty council positions. We have a chancellor. Uh, Duke Garibald, 28. Superb. Uh, let's pause the game so these stupid events stop happening. Uh, you want to hang out with your brother Beachy? Sure. At Steward. Uh, Count Masashi looks good. Count Redwald. A Duke Weimar. A Duke, far more important to have on the council than a simple count. Marshal, uh, the Duke of Spoleto. Or the Duke of Vienna. Uh, let's have... She likes us a bit more, so let's just sign uh, better marker there. And at Spymaster, Duke uh, Artavestus. Uh, he doesn't hate us all that much. Uh, let's start a scheme to sway him right off the bat. Uh, does anyone want to join the murder scheme now? Uh, we've got one too many holdings. Which is fine, we can give away this uh, castle here in Encona. Let's grant this to some random Catholic Lombard. Donolo, our friend. Yeah, mate. Have yourself a castle. Let's unpause the game and see what happens now. I'm dreading this. Scheme, oh, you are horrendous. I hate her so much. All right, there's the cack. This is the factions forming. Garibald has died. We've lost our uh, chancellor. Uh, Count Therismond with a score of twenty-six. Work on internal domestic affairs, please. Uh, do we have children to marry? Uh, Prince Beachy. You look pretty grumpy. We've actually got a Beachy as Emperor, so let's rename you. You're a Catholic. Everyone apart from Failberry are Catholic. Uh, let's rename this chap. Uh, let's have a, a proper... Actually, what we haven't seen is a mat for a while. 
Uh, they grow up so fast. Prince Matt of Benevento. Uh, a good steward. Look forward to seeing you as emperor one day. And let's marry you. Ideally to a Catholic who will get us an alliance. Wow. Looks like we might not be getting an alliance here. Try to find Catholics. A Lombard, Cream Hill de Lucerne. A word of advice. It's not the first time I have heard talk of what a great servant Eleanor is now to Beachy. And she presents herself as a token of friendship between Beachy and me. I don't trust her. I'm paranoid. Uh, welcome to my service, Eleanor. Uh, accept. Uh, Sheikh Mohammed worth fifty dollars. Sure. Duchess Emil Frieda. Uh, we can revoke her title. Do it. Revoke it. Uh, and then let's negotiate your release. Will you renounce your claims? Off you go. And ransom. Oh, why is that? Limit gone down one again. Hang on, do we get something else? We got the County of Pomorgi, which I just revoked. Uh, that silly place there, let's grant this to. Uh, some family member. Get over there. Grant. Uh, a party, it'll be my pleasure. Can we get a divorce? Uh, so the ecumenical patriarch will not accept. Let's try and sway him. Every guest is gathered in the hall. Our gracious host, Duke Hackbert, has welcomed us to the feast. I look forward to this. Uh, was that the sound of an empty cup? You just sat down at the table to hear anything over the dinner of the Great Hall. Duke Hackbert must have enchanted ears. 10% uh, to gain a drunkard. All right, no gaining drunkard, which is good. No convert to the proper faith. Disgusting. While I am talking over dinner, Count Munio leans in. I wish I knew he had a sound as clever as you, Failberry. Ah, true intellect. The pleading gaze I receive from a vessel Pino. Distract the guests. Oh, come, Pino, tell us a story. We lose stress because we are sadistic. <laughs> Fun times. Fun times. Make him suffer. What a feast. Farewell, vassals. But your crown doesn't even remotely look like it fits you. A stupid hat. Uh, someone is plotting to kill me. I bet it's Beachy. Actually, if you died, it'd be okay. We'd have uh, Matt, the Catholic, take over. I'm totally fine with Failberry getting assassinated here. Uh, so what's happening with succession on death? Uh, Failberry... Sorry, Matt would get uh, the Empire and the Kingdom. Aylberry, you would get Duclear, which is fine. 
And you get Salerno, Naples, and Kamada. I'd really prefer you didn't get that. So we should get a couple of smelly, gross duchies for people to have. Uh, just in case we get assassinated early. So let's create two duchies. Ah, uh, too late. Too late. Matt has taken over. Oh, I missed the assassination story. Died under the mysterious circumstances, age of 36. Ah, uh, right, so Matt has taken over straight away. Travelling through the dark woods with my retinue, we were accosted by a band of rogues. They soon proved to be more interested in our lives than our gold. The men fought bravely. I ran as fast as I can in until I think I've made it to safety. Then I hear the twang of a single bowstring. Ah, uh, devastating. Failberry. Murdered. Uh, Matt, the Catholic here with a Catholic wife. Fantastic. Uh, my uncle, King Pickled Prawn, has accused my vassal Count Tasso of having had an affair. Guards, seize them. Right, so Matt's looking like he might get a long sit on the throne. Coming to power at 16 here. Uh, we did lose a couple of territories, which is disappointing. Kamada and Salerno there. I'm going to your half-brother. And currently our heir is Failberry the second. To my liege, I hereby invite you to a feast at my court. I'd love to. Uh, a dangerous faction. I am not surprised. I'd actually like to get a couple of territories here. Um, intrigue. Oh, we've got the intrigue lifestyle. It might be good, seeing you are young. We might have people scheming against you. Let's get Skullduggery focus. We need a Chancellor. We need everyone on side. Alright, domestic affairs please. We need a Steward. Eight, nine, seven, eighteen. Ah, Duke Weimar there. Fantastic. At Marshal, Duchess of Vanamerka. And Spymaster. Sure. Uh, so what sort of faction do we have? A Liberty faction. 17 members, absolutely everyone piling in. Okay, so these are all the chaps through Burgundy and through North Africa here. It'd be an absolute horrendous war. Aylberry Judy, you're also a giant. Um, he's off ruling on his own now, so we cannot uh, get you married. Oh, this is a disaster. This is how empires end. A sudden assassination and then it all goes downhill. In awe. After having spoken over dinner for a while, Nordipit leans to me. Tells me you find it I'm so knowledgeable. What I should do is call it end of the episode before it all goes wrong. And here it is. It's all gone wrong. Let's pause the game here. To my liege, it is time for you to recognize the ancient and inalienable rights of your vessels. Accept the demands of the Liberty Faction or face our swords. 
find out what young Emperor Matt chooses next time. I've been Mr. Garuffle. This has been Crusader Kings 3.